Now, it's only been a few months since She-Hulk was released, and I believed at the time that Jen Walters was the single worst character to have been written in the history of television. But fuck me, I was wrong because I have just watched Thelma, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but somehow she is even worse than She-Hulk was. That's impossible! Now, it was obvious that Thelma was going to be a steaming pile of dog shit when it was released. I mean, one look at the trailer would show you that this comedy was going to be about as fun as wiping your ass with sandpaper. Paper. But I underestimated how nasty, bitter, and angry the people who wrote this show are, and I actually had a hard time reviewing these two episodes because they are about as vile and as incoherent as a school shooter's manifesto. So Velma is supposed to be based on Scooby Doo, yet there is no Scooby Doo, nobody acts like the characters in Scooby Doo, and everyone looks nothing like the characters except for Fred, and the reason why they left a blonde male character unchanged is because they needed somebody to be the butt of all the jokes. As this show is nothing more than a skin suit, as these fucking retards couldn't get the show they wanted to be made on TV, so they had to leech off the fame of an old brand to get their shitty TV show made, which sounds like most of Hollywood these days. The comedy is god fucking awful and can be broken down into three parts. The first part is the show just making constant references either of itself or to other TV shows over and over and over again. You know what 420 is, right? Um, yeah. It's code for adults who still watch cartoons. But if the kids in every teen show ever can get through a brush with a deranged serial killer, so can I. Shut up! The second part is the use of over-the-top violence, sex, and racial jokes that the show fucking waterboards you with, because it thinks that if it tells you the same joke repeatedly, you'll eventually laugh. <coughs> white girl with too much money. <coughs> white girl with too much money. Fred didn't do it. Fred's a rich white guy with a tiny dong. He did it. He was just another entitled rich guy who might kill someone because he has a tiny dong. If I were a rich white dude, I'd kill everybody just to get away with it. You must be fucking unbearable to live with. <laughs> And the third part is not really a joke, but the writers think is funny. And that's just Velma giving out a shitty, ill-informed, retarded political opinion. Velma Dinkley knows everything about everyone. Exactly. I spit truth without a filter. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? The show also pretends to be edgy because it uses tons of sexual violence, even though every other mainstream show is doing the exact same thing. And just like the other shows, it picks the same soft, acceptable mainstream targets, but won't criticize real edgy topics like Israel-Palestine or Epstein's flight list. What happened? Did your, your balls drop off? because it's fake edgy and picks the same exact targets that every other show does and tries to suck itself off thinking that it's brave. But the worst part is that the show is so fucking boring. The comedy is terrible and the mystery Velma is trying to solve is both retarded and uninteresting. Now, I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons between this and She-Hulk as both are about angry, sad women with terrible personalities that aren't funny and feature a cast of terrible people and seem to have been written by a gang of complete fucking retards. But one of the biggest differences between Velma and She-Hulk is that She-Hulk is delusional and doesn't understand that her terrible life choices are the things that cause her own misery. When Jen gets sad, she goes to a bar and gets drunk, and at the bar she gets picked up by a random stranger and fucked, who then immediately dumps her, leaving her sad again. So she decides to go back to that bar and the cycle repeats, as she is caught in a sad loop, whereas Velma is just malicious and fully self-aware of her terrible personality. She's a cunt that knows she's a cunt and takes pride in the fact that she is a cunt, as she tries to attack and humiliate other people just because she enjoys doing it. In fact, she is a complete sadist that gets off on inflicting suffering on other people, so she truly is an evil character. She also craves white validation and is obsessed with white people, to the point where it's just sad. Another thing I noticed was that the voice actors cast to play the characters are identical. The white and black lesbian police officers are voiced by white and black lesbians. Asian Daphne and Black Shaggy are played by an Asian woman and a black man because we can't have people act anymore. No, you have to actually be the characters instead. Oh, the art style is ugly as fuck and Velma has been designed to look as ugly and as angry as possible. Just pause at any moment in the episode and she is definitely going to be pulling a full-on bitch face. Now, I think that includes everything, so let's dive into the plot of this fucking shit show. It starts with a narration by Velma 
Velma, who immediately insults men straight out of the gate. Origin stories are about tall, handsome guys struggling with the burden of being handed even more power. Ah. You'll notice that Velma does this a lot throughout the episode, as she seems to be suffering from penis envy. We cut to a high school, and there are a lot of naked girls in the shower, and they start talking about how TV pilots always use too much sex and violence as a hook to grab viewers. Asian Daffy disagrees and says that all a show needs is good storytelling, so they both argue, and Daffy tries to drown her in a puddle. Right. So the show is trying to make fun of the fact and at the same time use sex and violence to catch the audience, which is retarded because it's trying to have its cake and eat it too and act like it's better than the other shows. Indian Velma then steps in and asks Daphne a question. And how do you feel about race-blind casting, Daphne? As an Asian woman, I, um, think it's cool. What is this shit? Velma opens her locker and sees a dead body. Velma is then arrested and interrogated by an interracial lesbian couple that also happen to be the adopted parents of Daphne. They then talk about how when Daphne got attractive, Velma got jealous and they no longer hang around with each other. She is supposed to be the chief suspect in a murder investigation, but all the women do is just gossip about Daphne. So the lesbians say that Velma has 24 hours to prove her innocence or she is going to be arrested for murder. Because the writers are too shit at their jobs to find an intelligent reason for Velma to go and solve mysteries. So she leaves the police station and bumps into Fred who she immediately wants to fuck, but Daphne comes along and then tries to wank Fred off in the middle of the street in front of the police station. And I can smell an evil slut! She then goes home and stuffs her fat face with chips and talks to her father, who is a loser, because every male character in this show is pathetic. And it also turns out that he got a waitress pregnant, and now he helps her by taking pictures of her pregnant naked body for OnlyFans. <laughs> So we cut to the wake of Brenda, the girl who was murdered, and everybody blames Velma for the killing, even though there is zero evidence tying her to it. So she decides to leave and once again bumps into Fred, who says this. I am real! A real man, father! So Fred tells Velma that he is worried that his father doesn't find him masculine, and he is trying to become a man to impress him. But Velma twists the conversation to make it about herself, because of course she does, and talks about how her mother abandoned her. I don't know why Velma is so upset, because if her mother knew how horrible she would grow up to be, then she would have definitely got an abortion. She also explains that because her mother abandoned her, she has panic attacks whenever she tries to solve a mystery. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. So Fred leaves her behind and Black Shaggy shows up. Now Shaggy is a simp because of course the only friend that Velma can have is a pathetic loser who worships her because nobody else could possibly stand her terrible personality. Shaggy drives Velma home and says this. I think it has something to do with drugs, which I hate. He then says he knows who the killer is because he gave Brenda, the dead girl, his camera and she took a photo of something that got her killed. Wow, it sure is convenient that Shaggy, her friend, is connected to the murder victim and has all the information ready for Velma. When she gets home, her stepmom gives her some good advice. And you can start changing your personality to fit in and avoid prison! So how does Velma interpret this advice? Well, she decides to dress in skimpy clothing and act like a bicycle for everybody to ride on. This doesn't work and everybody attacks her. Fred steps in and defends her and she does this. <sighs> Oh, sorry, Velma. Are you too good for Fred's help now, you stupid bitch? We cut to the bathroom and Daphne tells Velma that even though her and Fred have been going out for a year, they still haven't fucked. Well, Daphne, considering how much of a whore you are, maybe he was waiting to see if you were already pregnant from your last relationship, or he could be waiting for a clean aid certificate before diving into that filthy hole. She also tells Velma that Fred is self-conscious about his body, because why not divulge all of Fred's personal information, you bitch? Velma now believes that Fred is the one Brenda took a picture of, and he killed her to hide the evidence. So she runs over to her sim Shaggy and tells him to drop everything he's doing and drive her to Fred's house, which he does because he's pathetic. In the van outside of Fred's house, Velma says this. Why would Fred kill Brenda? Why wouldn't he? If I were a rich white dude, I'd kill everybody just to get away with it. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. 
This is an example of how retarded the writers are, because what they think they are saying is that white men can kill people with zero consequences, but what they are actually saying is that if Velma had the power, she would kill people randomly. And this show is trying to have us believe that Velma is a good person. So Velma breaks and enters into Fred's house and has a panic attack, but the only thing that can calm her down is when Shaggy confesses to her and she laughs at him. You're the main character in all my dreams. <laughs> Shaggy is not Nothing more than a flaccid cock at this point. And why exactly does Shaggy like Velma? Because she is as ugly on the outside as she is on the inside. There is nothing desirable about this bitch. Velma then finds the camera in Fred's bedroom, and for some reason he hasn't deleted the photos off of it. Why? But the incriminating photos in it don't actually show him doing the murder. This is where Fred pops up and tells her his secret, which is that he hasn't hit puberty yet. Just what kind of retard wrote the script? All she thinks is that he shaves his legs, but no, he decides to tell her his secret. That's fucking stupid! Fred goes on to say this. I'm just gonna do to you what I did to Brenda. But the lesbians then arrest Fred, even though he was pulling out a checkbook and wasn't attacking Velma. But this show is retarded, so what Fred said is somehow incriminating enough evidence for him to go to jail. That does not make sense. Also, the show contradicts itself because Fred is supposed to have white privilege, yet he is being arrested for a crime he did not commit with zero evidence. What sort of privilege is that? But you, Velma, were allowed out by the lesbian police police officers. Maybe you're the one who's privileged. D do you not see the hypocrisy here? The episode ends with Velma returning home with Shaggy and finding a dead body in her bin, and that's the end of episode one. Why are these writers incapable of writing a coherent episode? Because they get everything wrong, and every character is an unlikable twat, and episode two is even worse. Episode two starts with Fred being arrested and heading to trial. Even though Velma has been found with yet another dead body, one in her locker and another in her bin, but everybody forgets about that and still assumes that Fred is the villain. It seems to me that Velma is the privileged one here, not Fred. So Velma goes on to learn that her loser father is taking Fred on as a client. Velma hates this and says, It's possible Fred didn't do it. Fred's a rich white guy with a tiny dong. He did it. What a cunt! When you were getting bullied in your high school, the only person who stood up for you was Fred, and now you hate him so much that you bring up his skin colour and want him to go down for a murder he didn't commit. Why is that? At first, I thought that it was because she is a racist, but what she really craves is white male validation. She wants the attention of white men and is bitter when she doesn't get it, because when she learned that he was dating Daphne, she got very angry and envious. That's just sad. Later on, Velma and Shaggy the Simp mock people who watch cartoons as adults. You know what 420 is, right? Um, yeah. It's code for adults who still watch cartoons. Fuck you. Which is a retarded thing to do as you're insulting the audience you're chasing after. Velma then walks up to Daphne and wants her to betray her mother's trust by stealing the cold case files from the police station about Velma's mother. And she tries to manipulate Daphne with her half of a BFF necklace that they both once had as kids. You really are one of the most disgusting humans I've ever met. Wow, is there no low that Velma won't go? I'll give you the file for $500. So what's Velma's plan to get the money? Well, the first thing she does is go to her pathetic sim Shaggy and asks him for the money because she does not respect him at all. But when it turns out that he has no money for her, she storms off and doesn't speak to him for the rest of the episode. So because Velma can't pay, Daphne offers an alternative. She wants Velma to sell drugs for her, but she fails this because as she tries to deal, she can't keep her fat, opinionated mouth shut and drives away all of the customers. <coughs> White girl with too much money. <coughs> White girl with too much money. See what I mean about Velma being envious of white people? She is obsessed with them. As all of this is happening, Velma's dad meets with Fred and his parents, and his plan is to make Fred look as childish as possible at court. Wait, how is any of this going to court? They have fuck all evidence. This is literally just She-Hulk all over again. So a lot more terribly unfunny things happen, and we cut back to the high school, where we see the lesbian police officers try to arrest Daphne and Velma for selling drugs. 
a fucking terrible chase scene happens and when it's over Daphne and Velma start getting gay with each other because everybody in modern Hollywood seems to turn gay randomly now. So after that bullshit Velma returns home and talks to her father about making a deal. He wants her to testify on Fred's behalf and he'll give her $500 to which she agrees to. At court, Velma is sworn in, but instead of placing her hand on the Bible, she uses a copy of Grey's Anatomy. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. So what exactly is Velma's testimony? That he was just another entitled rich guy who might kill someone because he has a tiny dong. It's funny how the writers are making fun of Fred for being rich and entitled, when the fucking retards writing the show are vastly overpaid to make this pile of shit, and also yet again again Velma has to mention that Fred has a small dick because it's the low hanging fruit women have to insult men. That's why every retarded woman makes the same joke. How dare you! So all she does is say that Fred is a pathetic man child incapable of murder. Oh my god, it's the exact same scene from She-Hulk. Dennis Bukowski is an almost pathologically entitled man. But also that he was just another entitled rich guy. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! So everybody laughs at Fred and he gets angry and says this. A big boy who could have removed those dumb girls' brains, no problem if I wanted to. So because of this, he is arrested and sent to jail. How the fuck is any of this an admission of guilt? He said he could have done it, not that he actually did. But these writers are complete fucking morons, so he ends up in prison. Shaggy goes on some shitty side quest where he tries to get the $500 for Velma, but it's fucking pointless. Oh, and his mother looks just like the dumb fucking lawyer off of She-Hulk. The writers on this show have to be the same. Later on, Daphne gives Velma the files on her mother and she starts to have a panic attack. But Daphne, who suddenly has turned gay, decides to les off with Velma, even though she is supposed to be in a relationship with Fred. And the final shot is Shaggy watching them and being sad about it because he's pathetic, like every other male character in the show. And that's the end of episode two. That was awful. Do not watch this show, it's shit. They know it's shit and they don't care if nobody watches it because they have already been paid and they are making it for themselves, not for anybody with any sense of taste. Because that's all Hollywood does nowadays is suck itself off and use pre-existing franchises and films to bitch about how good they have it and how they are entitled pricks that deserve more. None of these writers should work ever again. They are that fucking stupid I wouldn't trust them to handle my rubbish. You make me physically sick to my stomach and I wish that you would get a heart attack.